These are the UN headquarters in New York, where politicians and world leaders make their policies and decisions. And today is a special day because they are going to listen to young people. And of course, the kids' correspondent is there. My name is Tendue and I'm from Zambia. My name is Emma Strother and I'm from the United States. Ik ben Saya. Ik ben Yield and I come out of Nederland. My name is Don Singh and um, I'm from Burma. My name is Tapio Makupo from Zimbabwe. You are part of the largest gener generation of youth in history. They should be listening to us because we are the ones that have been affected the most. We are the ones that feel how it feels to not to go to school, to be hungry. The world needs to hear more young voices defending our only planet Earth. The United Nations is mostly older men, and that is true of many institutions in this country and of international cooperation. You have the legitimate right to challenge your leaders. They should listen to the youth because sometimes their generation is the long-term generation and we understand our generation. I have to speak for other children who cannot be here with, at, this, at, at this event. So it's like I'm a, I'm a voice to the voiceless. We need the power of young people all over the world in rich and poor countries. The VN die luistert op dit moment naar jongeren, maar ze kunnen ook behalve wat luisteren ook de jongeren misschien meer zelf laten, dus meer macht geven in hun eigen hand. Dus dat de jongeren ik noem maar wat een speciale zetel krijgen. Dat zou ideaal zijn. I believe this is the time to engage young people. This is the time to tell to young people it is your future, take it in your hand. And so today is the day for us to decide to be on the right side of history and act. Just why don't you do this for us? This is after all our world. And I'm working for you. And let us work together to make this world better for all. We are nobody's left behind. I thank you very much for this opportunity.